a blessed day viewers and subscribers welcome back to the bass with another video so guys as promise i promised yesterday that i'm going to give you part two zane i'm going to give you part two and there's a lot of stuff i left out of part one but me can it you have to remember so i live there so for almost a year so me can give you every details with some of the stuff them that i i've been through as a real youth you understand but miss one comment in the comment section and i'm going to reply to this comment not in a disrespectful way i respect everybody comment but somebody wrote a 34 35 year old me should have sense let me tell you this you say if you not experience something whether you are 30 40 or 50 it will come as a surprise to you and everybody in life no matter what age, we all can learn every day. You learn new things. You learn about how people relate in relationship. You learn about new way how people scam people. So age does not have nothing to do with it. It's about experience. All right? A man can experience what I go through at 40. He can experience it at 50. He can experience it at 20. Remember, this was my first time moving in, in a woman's yard. I woman house with their kids them. Me never had no pick me. Me a late bloomer. Me get picked me late and everything. So that have to just answer the question, guys. All right. So I don't have to put say thirty four. Me should have know. See and we like how some woman met man name them out and treat them a foreign and locally. Them a forty and them a fifty. Only can't say them should have know. Yet you know people are you know people coming as some. This guy is where you don't know until the truth come out, you realize. And yeah, well, if me never tell a story, you don't know when it say it happened to me. But fear enough, me I share it with you. All right, so me get that out of the way. We're going to continue with part two now. I me say, I don't like it. I found out know who my life was and such, you know. So me I give it to you. So listen what going on now. Part two, I'm going to start like this now. I give you a story and tell you, say, when I leave, I start my own business. But let me reverse back a little bit. See? Because I left out the most important part here. Yeah. After me left, I didn't know, say, in a one month time, less than a month, I don't want to give her no credit, less than a month, I call her and I say, what's going on? You're good? I'm going to be honest with you. You see, even though I left, I still was engaging in a sexual relationship. With her, but me no sleep around it. I go tell you the honest truth. Remember, me tell you no say, oh, the pum pum good and it have me. You understand? This woman have three kids, and even though I have a cheap pitney, at the time I never buck up on somebody with a proper, 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 well fit, feel good, with and everything, feel good, proper, proper pum pum. Me me get the pum pum out of here now. Cause me say no for people at Texas say if, um. If I don't want pump pump no good. Yes, everybody pump pump good. But ask this this question is for man. See? Ask every man this question. Everybody body set up different. Some woman pump pump feel different than some woman pump pump. So somebody in a some exaggerate. Everybody body set up different. Every man body feel different for a woman. So as sub everybody body set up. Everybody body now go feel the same or have the same whatever. Alright? So we just a chat. Moving on now, the lady find when me and her stop link, me find out say yo, the lady and already ready man and the thing does brother all ear style, me have to pay for ear style and me have to this. It was so stressful. Me did poor guys, me never have it. When me left one of the woman, my money, I, I, if me remember good, a between me left with less than twenty thousand dollars for one of the woman they had. See? And when me left for one of the woman they had, you know, I said to myself, say, all right, I'm going to start my local business now. I did something did reach. But before the business, I did cut her off completely now. Because one day, me and her text. And I tell her, I say, yo, what's going on? Where are they around there? And she said, yeah. So I said, I can't check it. She said, nope. She, and she sent a text, nope, N-O-P-E. I said, why? Um, she's seen someone new. I said, guys, when she said that, it's like somebody... Call me and give me a sad news and I say, really? She said, yeah, and I said, who that? I tell her, I say, 
If me left, I want you chatting and I'm a friend of mine. Because I don't want you to be a friend of mine. But so, said so, said so, then she did a talk to one guy where I know we keep party, but he's not my friend, but I know him because he is a promoter. And she started to talk to the boy, then drive on BMW. Then time they may drive my little Nissan and them something that I see it and I say to myself, say, yo, the woman is calling less than a month, the woman find a different man. Say, look like she and this a boy I use a chat. I don't know how I get myself in a one toxic relationship. But you see, in life you have to feel it, you know it, and you have to learn from your mistake. Enough people reach out to me and I say, mix up boss. I got you want something similar like that to but big up yourself. Alright? I'm brave enough to talk. I don't shame in my game. This was my past. I'm a better man now, I'm smart, I'm a wise, I'm a learn a lot. What happened to me? Um, eight, seven, eight years ago, can't happen to me again. Alright, because I, I, I know about red flags and stuff now. Anyway, I start my business and I do my thing now. Guys, when I start my business, when a girl ever rent me the place, she says she want 10000 a month, but I figure her 20000 Guys, remember me telling her I left with both. 18 or 20,000. If I don't remember well, about somewhat about, yeah, I think about that I did 5,000. I don't know, but I end up talk to the girl about it. She said, I want to party, and she said, You don't want a place to rent. And I said, No, you know, I go on, um, so I go on and work with my car, like drive on location and work. And then now, she said to me, say, um, All right, he did it still. So, I passed every day, and I look at the place, and I said, You know, so I go try it. So I call the said lady. And I say, yo, you know what I say? See a business place and I want to rent it. And go and do my thing. Cause I, I, I take my, my, my work serious now and try to make some money. Cause I run broke on a man. And I think I did call her and say, you know, you can't lend me one ten grand. And she said, where should you get it from? That was her reply. And I say, look where should you get it from? I say, all right. That she said. And I say, all right. But... In the midst of things, deep down is like I was trying to prove to her that I can be independent and make money or step up to her standard. Cause, you know? So anyway, we resist a place to rent. And then now, something does come in on me when I wake up one morning and I say, you know, I'm going to ask girl if she rent a place. About three weeks after, I call her and say she did a fire. I say, hey, you rent a place? She say, yeah, when she come back, you know, rent it. Guys, I rent a place. When we rent the place, we get one shelf put up and we get one little radio. When we did have put on and we have my tester and my pliers. I don't even have no whole heap of tool. That's one little something. We did have about two little speakers, one switch and something, and we start. People pass, we put up my sign and people see it. And, and guys, the business. When we rent, when we pay the girl the money, the 20 grand guys. I think at that time, I think came, yeah, I think we did about $5,000 in my name. I said, mean, God, how am I going to end up to pay the next? I pay rent in the, I pay a month in the box. So how am I going to manage to pay if nobody no come? I'll type of something I go through my head and I start fret. I said, boy, you know, God, I eat this, I know. I take a chance in my life and so happen. Anyway, first week start. I said, one and two people are come. Then people start tell people, say, yo. The men have anything I don't want to. And then I go on and I start print um I call it business card and I start drop it off at some place so I know do said work, we sell appliance and all the little thing and I start doing my thing guys, start advertising on Facebook. Yes. Remember now this I said boy we broke and never have nothing and I'm on my street, me and I hold up my head and I say, I do this. And I see business start take time. When I make a money. Like a few weeks, I say I want like a $30,000. When I check off, because you see that's worth the money and put it down. And then I check off a few weeks, I say 30000 I say, all right, amen. I go put down 25 and back five. You know, and I saw me I do my thing and I saw me I go on. I mean, I go on and I do my thing. So, remember now, you see the shelf with the four, um, with the one radio and stuff, it start grow. So, I build up one another shelf now. So, I start to have radio speaker. Alarm system, I start advertise special, I get them pan deal, and I saw me take time, great, great, great. Till one day, the girl, one girl come to me where rent me the place. She said, Yo, you know, say, I run a partner, I used to say in a round robin, you don't want to come in there. And I said, Me, I'm afraid of them something that call people rob people in money. She said, My one run good man, come in there, man. And I said, You're a working man, you're a good for your business. I'm going to give you an early job, you stack out your place right here. I said, Seriously? She said, yeah, remember you rent the place for me, you're not going to be. <clears throat> and I said, Kiara, come. 
she said, all right, I rent it. Ah, I joined the partner. And I think she gave me fifth jar. And guys, when I get the fifth jar, I make some link and I go up on one site from China. I start buy up a radio and wallop or something and stack up the thing. And I start do some special people from Portland, people from Man... No. I never get nobody from Antigua. Oh, she sent down all bulk. I never see it from Marketplace, from Facebook. Business start growing now. After business start growing now, guys, guess how who me see? Text me. Because you don't know what happened. She, she, all right, one of the one I, 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 youth used to go to school next door my business place. So she have to pass my business place. If you go for her, I think her son or I think her son or daughter, one of the two of them. So at uh, that start up now, so she start see a pass and see the whole heap of vehicle and business that grows. So she now hit her, say, boy, idea, man, things are going for him. You know, so the lady called me and said, what's going on? I said, how do you think, man? Big up yourself. I said, yeah. She said, my big son was there here. I don't wonder if I could have given him a job out there. So guys, when she said that to me, I said, eh. I said, I can't give him a job, but he can come from weekends or so on. Come learn the work. I might even not gonna know the job so he can come learn the trade. And she said, Alright, you're gonna send him. Anyway, when the man come, guys, that I the said man found out that the part one I used to just lock up in a room and just eat out the food and cook and not wash up plate, nothing. You see man come all the man do the pan in phone. I play a game and sit down out there. So I watch him the um the Friday, then he sat there and come and I watch him. So I call her and I say, yo. The brother you don't want to do not want to waste a time thing this or no. I don't, don't want you to send him back. I don't make no sense. The woman said, all right then, because I don't know what else to try with him. You know? I try, I try to see what I could do, but it didn't work. So anyway, I did it and business had grow. They said the woman called me back one night and tell me to walk go on. So I said, and she said, I can't lend her 50 grand. She may get it back after she go. I say, oh, you know what? So I just stack out the shop and I don't have no money right now. So um, I can't go give you no money now. She say, that's why I don't like talk to mean man. You know? You're too mean. I know you have the money, but you're too mean. You see me? You're too mean and she start cussing and go on. You know, I just hang up my phone, guys, and I say, not anymore. I mean, I'm going to make you use where you have on your foot or something to try. Jam me in back. Because she sees so now business are flow. You understand? I have to scrape again. That's why I tell her, guys, if you have a dream, follow your dream and believe in it. Pursue your dream. Don't make nobody tell you so you can't make it. You understand? And with all of it happen, business start run good, guys. And when business are run good, over a year, I make back all of the money there. <laughs> All I money, because I tell her one day I did that, I calculate from the time I did that about how much I lost. And I did that, I said, you know what, so I spent over maybe one seven hundred or eight hundred thousand in total for the time I did that. That's how I had gross in my mind. And I said, China Star. And I sit down one day when, after one year, I said, God, look, they know I make, me make back all of them money there with partner and plus with work and something. and my life changed and it a you know it a go on. It a go on, God and me I say, look at that, look where me I come from. My ear says she did end up go back a foreign and she run off, she not come back allegedly that my ear. And I think the man did file for the kids them. Yeah, and the in file for the kids them. But the kids them did love me guys. The two smaller ones then they love me. The big son in fee mindset did different. And I hear say the big son did get fee visa too. Zin? Cause you know the mother travel and so and he get fit up. So I think all of them now they are firing. Go on a joke now. Remember when my father did say, don't pay no mortgage. That is our next comment more address. Somebody put in a comment say, once you live with a woman, if you help her, pay her mortgage or whatever. Let me tell you this. I may have put it back again. If you're not married a person, Zane, if you're not married a person or your name not depend on deed or nothing, no, nobody paying a damn mortgage, whether you're a man or a woman. She said, what about rent? I said, renting is different. You rent, some, you rent a place because it's a priority and you can't live without a place. So you have to pay for rent. Rent is different. I rather know I rent one place and I live. 
I may go and go to. Then, that no said, I'm moving with somebody and I help them pay their mortgage and me and them now. Um, we know, we know, we know close enough like husband and wife where we have plans and set things out. We're going to don't pay for this and we're going to get one next house and then thing there. You can't do that. You can't just get up and help people pay a mortgage and all of them something there. You can't help with the utilities, food and everything. That is my belief. Because at any given time, you don't come like a woman that talk to a man and him not divorce. Or a man that talk to a woman and she not divorce. And you have a relationship. One day she can't get up and say, hey, you know, say, I go go back to my husband, me and him talk. Or the man can say the same vice versa. So, we have to be careful where we are investing her. I'm glad say I did follow the man footstep and know say yeah, I don't have to do that. Kawa. When I did run at the yard, look up before me left. I go on this in a part one, but it just come back to me now. The neighbor I get close as in friend. Cause one night I did that, I take sick. And I she give me some medicine and help me guys. Cause the woman did have fire at the time. If I go on this, you know, too late, I go on it. And when me and woman turn friend and she used to check up on me and call accept me alright. She and her husband live over there. I want good woman. I hope she alright. And the woman said to me, say, why are you putting yourself through this stress? She's not there and me see you and the kids them and them again talking and you're a young man, you're not bad looking. Why you put yourself through then something you're with her? And I say, boy, you know, so I just do it cause when she come home and go, cause it has stressed me out. And she said, boy, you know, put a stress to them something, the man. Because right now, the man for the place says she owes two months rent. I said, guys, when the woman tell me, say, I want to hear what I say good enough. Remember, this is the woman that tell me, say, I fear her house enough. And I share her sister house enough. And she has a mortgage enough. And the neighbor, the neighbor say she owes for two months rent. I forgot to tell you another part because I talk his story. I tell you not tell the story sometimes. Some of the things they don't come until after you, you play out and you realize. You know, so I rent house, a woman live all along. I mean, things say, at the woman house. Because the woman used to tell me, say, oh, she'll go upstairs and put the kids them upstairs. And if you stay, me and her had to stay downstairs privately. And my Jesus God, every time I think back about it, I say, I was a big fool. I was a big fool, guys. Big, big fool. When the woman said that now, he gave me a wake up call. Me, I said, that means, say, uh, and the woman I said, the man who owned the house live at town. And she normally if he pay the money to the account. <laughs> so the money where she appeared to the account, she tell me, like, it's a mortgage. Lord God help me. So it wasn't the lady house, guys. But me not say about nothing to she, because the neighbor said, I don't tell her, because I look like she not tell me. Because she and her husband I say, oh, me take up responsibility, go appear rent, and live with the man with she pit me. And she had a woman tell me, so my next man used to live there before me, guys. I said, everything start reveal. I mean, I said, oh, so this thing is a planting, thing, is a using thing. It was a using thing for morning, guys. But my fall feet, yeah, man, my fall feet show the pum pum. I admit it, the pum pum, guys. And I like she did give me a world or nothing. It was the pum pum and the, the big house and the lifestyle. May I be honest, I don't know, that did catch me. So I hope a man then listen to this and learn and everything little a goal me see it in a comment. You see me? So man have ways and ways for, for join man in a them life. And then every woman good and every woman can uplift you. This woman wasn't uplifting me. She was she was burying me. She was draining my energy. She was draining my pocket. And we have to turn up as an individual and say, listen, the enough, the enough, the enough is the enough. Sometimes we hook and say, if me left, somebody else I get the woman, somebody else I get the man. But now watch that. Pack up your things, walk out. Because the more you stay, you're going to lose more. You're going to lose more, guys. You get what I say? So me find out, say, I don't fear us until this day, she don't know. Since me depend the party, I make me go to the party. One day, I drive go around the neighbor. Me and the neighbor, them close. So, Threw me a electrician, one of the neighbors carrying on start and then call me and I go around there. When I go around there, a different somebody I see in the house, different somebody live there. I said to the neighbor, I want to go and different people say, Yeah, um, the man sell your house. And he said, Yeah, hey, man, of them people are buying. I did see it in a paper, but we said, We don't want you, man, because the roof built too low and we'll have adjustment. The man sell your house. The man sell your house, guys. So different people live in house. Every time I pass them, I look over here and laugh. I say, Wow. Memories, you understand? So, 
Me they left out the part there. So I want to address it back. It was never her house. It was all lies. I've been played, I've been tricked. You understand? So it happened to you best away. I want to put age in it. Anybody at any age can get tricked at any time. People, people devour them way there. And when you go through it and experience it, you can come and talk the story. So my business grew, guys, and they get established. And she started to ask me for money. And I stand up strong. I'm in a Lenar. You understand? I'm on my own. And I'm tell her this, guys. Come I'm going to draw the story a long, 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 long. For part two. You see? Where I'm at now? I don't miss nothing when I lose. When I, was, when, I, when I was living with her. Where I'm at now in life... I am 42 years old now telling this story. Where I'm at now, I don't miss nothing. And every money and every energy where she get, it come like nothing to me because God bless me. What Mr. God do? God bless me. I grew up from my um, mistake when I make with her with the bad lifestyle. Eh? And my growth, I grew in a, in a somebody where I depend on social media now, people reach out to me with story. I see myself I help people. You know, I go do, do good deeds, I do a lot of stuff. You understand? Every blogger we see on YouTube, every month we get a little token in our account for the work we do. Some don't get much, some get, everybody get different, different. But let me tell you this, and how you get, how you save. You understand? How you save. So, I can't get money and I can't squander it. You understand? So, guys, I hope you learn from them story. Uh, and this is my story. Zane, I'm not going share my game. I see the comments them, but it is what it is, man, at the truth. My business flourish. Business license. I'm going good. You understand? Social media, I'm going with a little self too. And I take my little time and go on said we. And if I see her now, I would tell her, what well, go on, you good? And give her all kinds of thanks. Thanks for the XP. I wouldn't see her on Malice or across her guys. I would tell her, thank you for the experience. Because I learned a lot. When I say I learn, hey, I learn a lot at the yard. You see me? I mean, I bash her in her body. I just tell her, oh, man, can get hooked on something where, you know, and that are the main thing in our relationship. It's about how the person um, work with you encourage her and them stuff there and trust me that one man that one's stuck in a maid for life i think when she go up um the i think the young one then they call me she met them she did have my number for sure oh she's still guys even though she got foreign she never used to communicate with me and what go on i'm gonna get my son and she would say what go on and she not communicate or ask what go on or try you know but i don't really need our friendship because long after me see her back at jamaica I may lose. When I see her back, guys, her face looks swell. She never looked all that. She wasn't the, the beautiful, nice girl when I did fall in love with. She looked totally different, you know. She still have the big shape, the bumper shape and whatever, but she never looked, you know, she never looked like my type of cup of tea, like a couple of years after. So this is it, guys. You might see somebody in love with them and would have go head over heels to them. You see, a couple of years when you see them back, you did and you say, then, I just had somebody I did a run down. Look how you look now. You know? So sometimes you see, you look some people and you know, get them. Just call it as it is. Nobody try to force it. Because a couple of years down the line, you're going to see changes and you say, I just had a man, I just had a woman I did a run down. Look how they look now. Yeah. She not mash up like pop down, but she just did look like, she look different. Her face look different. She just look, I don't know if I wickedness them what she did to me. <laughs> <laughs> Makes you look totally different, guys. But try to star. I can't smile now, but it could have been worse. It could have been worse, guys. And when I look at myself, look how well of them pack up and gone a foreign. I'm still there in Jamaica. It look like when they gone a foreign, then they expect me to out there suffer or come to nothing. But I rise. I rise above, guys. I rise above ambition, determination. I'm there. I'm there. I'm there now. I can share this story with you, guys. And I'm a proud father of two. I'm a dare. And this is just one of my experience. This is just one of my story. When I share with you. I have many, many more to share with you. Everybody, 
have a story. My love and respect, you know. Thank you very much. Hope you understand it. If you don't understand it, listen part one. And this is part two, the final chapter of Damien moving with a woman with three pitney. I was hook, was in love, all uh, because a pum pum and, you know, big house and then something. There. So I was a riffraff back then, but, you know, to God be the glory, great things he has done. I graduate and I'm a better man now. If she fits me now, oh my God, she would have said, Bomba, look for my man, look for him. But no, we're not turning back. <laughs> anyway, guys, love you know. Big up. Share on the story here, 876-277-3254. Big up everybody who watch the premiere. And we are going to make things work for everybody who is single and want a companionship. 876-277-3254. All right, reach out to me. Guys, big up on yourself. May I come live? I'm gone.